<laughs> Alright man, well um tell me what kind of um what kind of spiritual practice are you working with or uh or rather uh have you done shadow work before? Have you heard about it or you know what, what where you at? What's what's going on with you? Oh oh okay. I've I've heard of, I've heard about it, but you know, I heard many people say different things, so I, I really don't know what it is. You know, I, I, I to my understanding I believe it's like dealing with like trauma or you know things that bother you maybe or you know certain mm-hmm. things that trigger you that's that's what I'm thinking of what shadow work is mm-hmm. I could be wrong mm-hmm. it, 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 it's um that's uh it's not to say whether or not that's right or wrong it's um it's more of a very simple answer the perspective I come from is the left hand path and more specifically self deification um, right. And so that's the angle I'm going to come at the idea of what this shadow work stuff is. Um, but as far as like whatever spiritual stuff you do, like personally, like what kind of what kind of things are you into? And okay, also, well, also keep uh, in mind, um, I'm not I'm not going to judge you on anything. I'm not going to. I may laugh at shit, but I laugh at everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. I mean, feel free, bro. We we good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm I'm not like that either. I ain't, you know I don't hold back. You know. So. You know. But uh. <laughs> Really, uh, to tell the truth, I, I don't. I'm gonna say I don't. I don't praise any, anything anybody because I know you know, like you know, listening to your videos. I, I watched uh, uh, your videos, and you know, I know I'm not the body. That's what I do know. So, um, in the past, I have worked with like uh, you know the the Santa Simu and you know. What I thought was go Asia, you know, maybe I, I don't know if I was doing it right, but uh, I'm me. I'm not on the right hand path. I don't use stones and crystals. I don't burn sage. I don't, you know, pray or, or, or none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, as far as like, you know, I like you know all the demonic shit and you know the you know the pictures or whatnot. But you know, I'm 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 trying to figure out, you know, like. I don't know how to word it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm try- mm, it's, 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 I'm, it's fine. You know, that's what we're here to do. Figure out exactly what that question is. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it was like, at one point I was doing rituals. Like, let's say, my rituals, what I did, I did like, you know, I, I would light a candle, but I wouldn't like have no stones. And I, I, candles like setting the mood for the nighttime, you know. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, you know, I would do a lot of meditations and you know, try to visualize, because, you know, okay, I'm going to say this, I have nobody to teach me nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I'm doing is, is on my own, I grew up in the Christian background, so Getting it there's out the nobody mud. around me that's doing what I'm doing. I, I no friends or anything, everybody's still, you know, on the same thing. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I have, I had nobody to teach me nothing. So I'm like doing this all on my own. And so, uh, when I, when I stepped into this, you know, I learned that, you know, I couldn't, have fear and none of that. You know, I knew it wasn't no monsters coming to eat me and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I had to, I, you know, I, once I understood that, you know, because I ain't gonna lie, when I first jumped into it, especially the Goetia, you know, I was like, I'm, I'm seeing shit move out the corner of my eye. I'm like, oh shit, what the <laughs> fuck? You know what I'm saying? It did. Mm-hmm. I'm in this big old house by myself and, you know, shit just, you know, can get to you, you know, because mm-hmm. watching movies and shit back in the day. I, I don't, I, I didn't like horror movies. You know, I was scared of that shit. And I'm scared of it, but I don't like the, um, the, uh, I wasn't scared of the monsters. Like, it was, it didn't creep me out, but I just don't like shit jumping out around the corner. You know, that's the suspense part. <laughs> you know, they be playing that music. Yeah. You know something finna come. Right. And he's like, I know something finna come around that damn corner. And I start building up anxiety. I like, I can't watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Sometimes I'm wrong. You know, sometimes you're wrong. You think the dude finna jump out. He don't. Then he end up jumping out from somewhere else. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> that stuff was getting to me. So I don't uh-huh. watch it because of that. But I'm not scared of, you know, oh, it's a monster outside my window type shit. You know? Yeah. So, you know, once I got past that spook shit, it was like, okay, so now what? You know, I, I was trying, you know, looking at other people's videos and they talk about self deification and maybe, you know, I, that's what I was trying to get into, but I don't know if I'm doing it right or, because sometimes I feel myself going back to doing what I was doing when I first started doing rituals. So I'm like, well, damn, I'm, I don't, you know, I'm just confused. I'm going to say that. I'm just mm-hmm. confused. 
No, no, no. And I'm like, enough. you know, I'm like, I don't know what to do. You know, I'm at, I'm at a point now, like, uh, like things in this world don't interest me. My customer, you know, the club and all this shit we used to do, don't want to do that no more. I don't really want to do nothing but like <laughs> travel the world or, you know, see things. But while I'm here, it's like, I'm bored, you know, and I'm mm-hmm. like, what am I supposed to be doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as spiritual, you know, work, you know, what am I supposed to be doing? You know, I'm like at a standstill now. Gotcha. Yeah. So it was like, you know, when I was, when I was on the right hand path, like I did, I did do it. You know, I did work with the stones and, and the sage and all that, you know, but I kept evolving. And it's like, this shit ain't working for me no more. Cause I'm like, the sage is, is bullshit to me because you had the sage with you, you know, it, you know, to my understanding, I was using sage to like, Calm down, all that, all that shit. But to me, it's like no such thing. Cause as soon as you leave the house and start dealing with people, my <laughs> gonna piss you off. And you can't sit up here and light up sage in their face. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So I was like, <laughs> I gotta find other means to uh, deal with it. You know, and I and I have, you know. But mm-hmm. it's like, you know, now it's like, you know, what the fuck do I do? You know, what what is, what what am I doing? You know, and I, it's like I ain't gonna sound it's driving me crazy, but it, you know, it's like. Oh, like, what the fuck, dog? It's like, I don't know what to do. And so, you know, that's where I'm at now, you know. Okay, okay. No, no, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Um, hmm. So, Santissima. Did you do all 72 with the Goetia? Like, what did you do with the, the Goetia? Okay, I'm a t- okay, so this is what I did with the Goetia. Like I said, I, 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 I didn't have, I guess I didn't have nobody to teach me, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you good. At, at a certain point, you know um, what I was doing. I was I was printing out. I printed out all seventy two seals. Mm-hmm. And so uh, at this particular time, I was working at Walmart, and I wanted to test them out because I was reading like each one of them have different properties. You know, da 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 da. So I was like, "Well, shit, this invisible spell looks cool." I'm like, "Well, what can I do?" With it? So. Damn, I don't remember because this is like three or four years ago. Because I've been in this for a good maybe five years. I just started, you know, coming into this within five years. I've been Christian, you know, since, you know, back before then. I mean, you know, before then. So mm-hmm. when I did, you know, I, I cut out the seal and I just meditated. And I was like, when I was working at Walmart. I said, you know what? They have people at the front door. They check your, they check your tickets or whatever if you leave with stuff. So I said, you know, I'm going to do an, invis- an invisibility spell and I'm going to see if I can get past the doorman. You know, I'm, I went and got like an air fryer and mm-hmm. I'm just like, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm going to just do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I'm mm-hmm. trying to have shit. fun with this shit. You know, you got to take <laughs> take certain risks, not not no crazy ass risks where you get your ass in big trouble, but, you know, I'm take a little risk and shit. I ain't want to work there no more, no way, you know? Mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> I, you know, I walked out with an air fryer and then come to find out I got the wrong air fryer, I got to stick, you got a fry. <laughs> so I went back in and got the proper air fryer, you know, and I still didn't get caught. So it's like, you know, I was doing like little stuff like that. Um, it was certain events that happened in my life where, uh, like my cell phone got stolen. And, you know, at this time I was working with, uh, uh, La Santa Sima Muerte and mm-hmm. my cell phone got stolen. And this chick hit me up because it got stolen at work. This chick hit me up out the blue and I didn't even know who she was. She was like, hey, uh... Oh, oh, let me, I'm sorry, I remember why. I did a ritual because I was like, damn, I gotta get my phone back. You know, mm-hmm. and I'm like, you know, how, how can I find out where my phone is? She, you know, that's just up in the air because then somebody just walked off with it. And so this chick that worked at Walmart, she just hit me up out the blue. She's like, yeah, I know who took your phone. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, who? And she gave me the Facebook name. And, you know, I was like, hey, so and so told me you got my phone. You know, I, you know, get my shit back. He's like, nah, nigga, I ain't getting shit back. Nigga, mm-hmm. yeah. That's a lot. So I knew he had it. And I was like, all right, so. You know, me and my mind, I just like, I ain't do no death shit, but I'm like, I need to get my phone back, you know? So I did, you know, like a meditation ritual because I have a, a statue of her in my room. I have an altar, let me say that. I have an altar. There you go. And so, uh, you know, I did meditations and I don't do the affirmations like writing it down, you know, I, that to me, like I have, a, I can speak in my mind, so I feel like I could do that besides, you know, writing it down 50 times and shit like that, you know? So, um, um, I did the ritual and then next thing you know <laughs> the phone was returned to me at Walmart you know so you know it's a little stuff like that but then I, to me I feel like it's more that I can do mm-hmm. versus you know little stuff like that mm-hmm. and you know it's like like I say it's just 
at a standstill. Once again, I don't know, you know, what's out there. I don't know what's on the other side. Uh, I don't have dreams. I don't know if that means anything. I may have a dream every now and then, mm-hmm. and, I, and I barely remember it, but I really don't have that that many dreams that much. Um, so other than that, yeah, I'm just I'm just stuck, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm like that. I'm not much of a um, sleep dreamer. Yeah, you know. I daydream a lot when I'm up, like a whole lot. Yeah, I'm a daywalker myself. I'm a daywalker. I, right. I, I do my dreaming with okay. my eyes open. Okay, okay, yeah. So that's how I am. Like, I, I go into, like, something real deep, and I'm like, damn, mm-hmm. I snap out, of, you know. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, hold on. Tell me some, something about some of those. What, what kind of shit like that? What, what, what do you go into? Man, oh, shit. Oh, we that's it. Okay, so sometimes... Mm-hmm. You know, I dream like, I mean, not dream, but you know, these, these, well, I guess it's a dream. I, mean, it's a day dream. I don't know. You know right? Visualization, you know, whatever I makes go, you feel comfortable huh? at the moment. Yeah, daydream visualization, you know. Okay. I'd even yeah, call okay. it a meditation. You said what? I'd even call it a meditation. Okay, so I felt that same way too, but like I said, I didn't know because it's just me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, man, put your chest out here. You never know. Shoot. Like yeah, I said, right, I ain't judging right, you at right. all, man. I'm, I'm trying to see what, what what's going on so we can work with it. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so sometimes I may have shit like, you know, uh, I may see like, I may dream like I'm interacting with different like monsters or demons or something that's not of this world. Let me say that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes I may, like I have a warrior spirit. So I'm into like, you know, the fights and shit. Sometimes I just lay out the blue, just have thinking I'm like fighting 50 people. I don't know. I don't know why I be having this shit. <laughs> Jump from building shit? to building type shit. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, <laughs> it's Are you all doing kind it first stuff, or third? Animals, huh? Are you doing it first or third person usually? You know what I mean when sometimes I say that? It's, sometimes it's both. Sometimes, you know, I can see myself doing it and sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm in control of it. Mm-hmm. Like I, you know, like I'm looking, you know. Sometimes mm-hmm. I can't tell. I tell you this, uh, where I say I um, fighting a bunch of people and jumping from here to there, you know, that happens a lot. A, a lot of death on my mind, too, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, uh, when that happens, it be third person. Okay. Uh, sometimes when I'm interacting with like, sometimes I daydream about some weird animal, some something like that. That'll be first person. I don't see myself, you know, I just see the animal, I just see my surroundings and stuff like that. You know. But you'll be the animal. But, huh? But you'll be the animal or are you looking at the animal? Oh no, I'm looking at the animal. Okay, okay, I feel you. I see what you mean. Yeah, sometimes I don't yeah, a lot like I said, unless it's like a fight or something. I put mm-hmm. it like this. If it's something physical, I see myself. If it's not physical, I don't see myself. I just see or you know, I'm I'm gonna say something like mystical, let me say that, or something that's not of this world. I see I'm looking at it as a as in first person. Okay. Okay. No, yeah. I get you. No, I get the I get the distinction. That makes sense. Yeah. Um what's I gonna say? Um Yeah, other than that, that's really like a, a lot of daydream like that. Um sometimes I daydream as if like I'm a character of a um uh, of a uh, you know like an anime or you know Dragon Ball Z something I, I sometimes it's always something to do with fighting. I don't know why. Or it's something with death. You know something. why? You already said it. You got a warrior spirit. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and then, like, a lot of things be with death, too. Like, different ways people dying or, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm into, like, the torture chamber, like, the medieval torture shit. Like, that shit interests the shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And sometimes okay. I be wanting to see it done, but, you know. <laughs> I'd be like, damn, I wonder what that shit look like if it actually done to somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of that shit be on my mind. Okay, so, maybe I should say this too. So, uh, 2014, okay, 2009, I, I had a son, and he was born with leukemia. Mm-hmm. And he fought it all the way till um, the age of four. Mm-hmm. And he happened to die in the hospital. I happened to watch everything. You know, him flatlining, and I'm trying to resuscitate him and all that other stuff. And so, um, you know, after that, and people tell me, me I feel like I was fine because after three days I went back to work. You know, you gotta go back to work. You got bills and shit to pay. Can't you sitting at home crying all day and shit? Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, I went back to work, and um, 
you know, I, I don't know, I just felt fine. And I was like, damn. I was, you know, I was thinking like, damn, am I that cold hearted? Like, why? It's not like I was happy it happened, but it was like, it seemed like I just got over it, like, just like that. You know, it still was on my mind, especially because when they resuscitated him, I'm thinking that they, because I, I know that they say, like, when they resuscitate you, they, they somewhat crack or break your ribs when they're doing that CPR stuff. Yeah, if they do it. And so when they, yeah, and so when they was doing that to him, it's like the little, they couldn't do mouth to mouth, so they put something over his mouth to, like, I guess squeeze the air into his mouth. Mm-hmm. And it's like they cracked and they busting, like, blood and shit out. Like, everything just shot off into that, uh, that mass thing mm. in my head. I don't remember because I was like, oh shit, I don't think he's going to make it out of that. You know, and then, you know, he, you know, that's when they were like, well, we can't save him no more today. So, uh, saying all that, you know, mm. uh, like shit like that stayed on my mind. It wasn't like, I don't know if it was trauma, but I wasn't sad and crying about it. You know, and I ain't like, oh, I need somebody to talk to you about it, you know, shit like that. I tend to deal with a lot of things to myself because really can't nobody help you. You got to help yourself at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. People can keep you company, but, when it's time to deal with it, I, I learned you got to deal with it on your own. Can't no shrink or nothing, you know, going to like therapy, going to really pull you out of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but, uh, that's why my business is so hard. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, uh, to say all that, when that happened, that's when my spirituality kicked off. And that's when, you know, mm, okay. I, yeah, I guess that's when I was at a low point because I, you know, I ain't had nothing to know what to do or, you know, I will say that I didn't like know what was next. And it seemed like, um, you know, that routine was broken for me taking care of him and doing this and taking him there to it's like nothing. So it was like, what am I to do? And now I guess that, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what did it because they said, you know, that's when shit just started coming to me and my eyes open. I was like, Oh, but the government doing this, doing that, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, oh shit, you know. So that's when I really started coming to myself. That was around 2015. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, like I said, I um, uh, I um, uh, I was on that RBG shit for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, hey, I had to start somewhere, it's standard, you know. Bro. It's uh, standard. <laughs> you say what? I said that shit is standard. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, you know, I was, I was in the uh. What's some niggas name? Um, Young Pharaoh and Cyrus said, you know all that. <laughs> but, yeah, but then, you know, I, you know, them, I learned like a lot of them niggas because I was I was in the gun club and all that shit too. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I learned a lot of niggas. They just be talking shit and they just <laughs> it is a hate crime because I'm like, and I told you they got mad at me. I was like, what are we doing? Because we not ain't no crackers from the coming to South Dallas and fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and we not finna march into them crackers houses and them, them neighborhoods and fuck with them either. I said, what are we doing? Oh, we just getting ready. I'm like, ready for what? You like, I, me personally, I don't think no war gonna happen like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody got guns and shit. I'm like, you niggas don't even know how to fight. You know? Mm-hmm. And you gotta you gotta handle. You know, I'm looking at all this shit. I'm like, this shit ain't even right. Mm-hmm. You know, these niggas is it's just like a hate group to me. You know, it just. <laughs> they just hate, and they hate themselves too. You know what I'm saying? Because they talk so much about white people, but they have all kind of Louis Vuitton. I'm like, it don't even make right? sense. I'm like, God, niggas <laughs> is fucked up in the head, you know. But anyway, uh, you know, I had got off that shit, and uh-huh. then you know, it's funny because I was almost down that road of emasculation, where you know, I was, oh, the black woman is, she's not a bitch and shit like mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? I, I was almost there. But, you know, I pulled out of that shit real quick because I'm like, these bitches going to be bitches and they're going to be like that for the rest of their life. And ain't nothing going to change these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so I realized, I was like, it was, in a way, um, I'm not trying to say it. Like, I see what the fuck they would do and I wouldn't say nothing because it's like, oh, well, she's a queen and I don't want to make her mad. I'm like, man, fuck that, because that shit ain't doing nothing but hurting me and making this motherfucker worse, too, you know? And it's like, it's making everything, you know, the whole situation bad, because now she's in control, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like, oh, hell no. And I've always been the type, like, I would never let a woman control me. You know, she do what the fuck she want to do on her own, but she would never control me. You know, that's, that's just impossible, you know? <laughs> but, you know, it, it was headed down that road. It was, you know, they. now it's like, you know, in my eyes, it seemed like the uh, the roles have been reversed. You know, back then it was the patriarch where the men was in control. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they 
shitted on the woman, basically, you know. And now it seems like it's flipped over, and you know, the women are in control, and then now the the men are acting like little girls, and they shitting on the men now, you know. And so it's like <laughs> it's it's funny, but you know, I'm seeing it happen a lot, especially like with my, you know, people in the family, and it's like all my cousins getting divorced because. They want them to pay for this and pay for everything. I'm like, damn, is it really happening like that? You know, I don't watch TV. Let me say that too. So I don't, a lot of shit. I don't know what's going on in the world, but I do know like rapping, Cardi B and all them has shit to do with it too. You know, mm-hmm. but because they to me they like influence the, the young, the youth, and these motherfuckers listen to everything that a rapper say. You know, so um, I think I jumped way off subject. Hey man, it, it is what it is. It's all, it all comes together. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just um. Okay, well, I guess I'm talking this. about going down the right hand path. So I, yeah, I did all that, and uh, and that shit just wasn't working for me because to me, it felt like I was still, it was still like a religion, and it eventually I was gonna have to depend on a crystal and sage and everything to get myself right, which you know that shit wasn't gonna happen. I was still gonna be stuck in the same position, and so. That's when I'm trying to. Oh, Bobby Hemmings. That's when I started watching Bobby Hemmings, and um, you know, I got tired. Of, you know, I got burnt out on his videos. You know, you watch all that shit, and really, he, you know, he he give references to good books, but he does a lot of talking. He he doesn't really like teach. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, on mm-hmm. how you know to to deal with to de- how you deal with yourself or whatnot, but. You know, he just talked, which still helped me because I got to learn the different deities and what's out there. You know, and it helped me pick and choose. You know, what to you know what to uh, work with in a sense. But um, when I started, you know, hearing about self deification, that's when it was like, you know, oh, this is different. You know, mm-hmm. and then I when I when I when I, I don't know I, I know we've been friends on Instagram for a minute, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, like to me, I'm, I'm I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I know I'm pretty intelligent. But like when you, like how you, when I started listening to you and you, I'm like, I don't understand what he's talking about, but it's interesting to me. And it seemed like you know, I, that's when I didn't. I knew I didn't have all the damn answers because I did at one point. I mm-hmm. thought I did, you know, because mm-hmm. you know I thought life was good. But <laughs> come to find out, it was all bullshit, you know, <laughs> for real. <laughs> you know, I thought, you know. <laughs> I thought life was real good. I'm like, hey, yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing this and then and, and, uh, and shit. So like, I'm back at square one, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, mm-hmm. you know, I started watching like your videos and, oh, uh, man, it's it, you, man, it's a lot of shit that you talk about. Especially, I can't remember what one of the videos, but it mm-hmm. helped me a lot because I think you was talking about. Well, I don't think I know you was talking about. Uh, the tree of life and you had the clip off mm-hmm. it, yeah it was that and see to me when I try, try to read those books on like the tree that shit throws me off those those books <laughs> on the tree of life uh-huh. I'm like, I don't know what the hell they talking about you know it's like they talking about some more shit you know versus what you was talking about on your video it seemed like you summed it all up a lot in that video you know and it, and it, it helped me because you, you were saying the, um, how the last like the I think it was the root chakra down at the bottom, how you saying all that was physical? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, astral projection. Cause really, I thought astral projection was like something that I had to do. Mm-hmm. No, rewind. Cause I did a uh, maybe like two years ago. I did a constellation with uh your boy Rogue Titan. And, uh, <laughs> he he was like telling me, oh, you should astral projecting shit like that. I'm like, dude, I don't I don't have dreams. I, you know, I don't know how. He's like, oh, you got to state your intentions and stuff. So you know, I tried to like that shit ain't working. For me. You know what I'm saying? So I really thought like um, astral projection was like mm-hmm. part of it until you know I saw your video and you was like, but this is still part of the physical. So I was like, oh shit! I was like, okay, this I ain't missing out on nothing. Yeah. But you know, it's like um, that video. How you were saying how? Man, if I can't because it's been a while since I watched it. But you were saying like how if you. I don't want to quote the wrong thing, but it's yeah, something along the lines where, like, if off. you feel like if you feel like um, you want to save all the animals and the planets, you know, you're still you're still here, mm-hmm. you know, or you know, 
or maybe like in my knowledge if I feel like oh people don't like me because I don't have this and that you know that's still like that's still human you know what I'm saying so I was like this makes so much sense you know because that's not how I am you know I'm not I'm not I'm not here to let people like me you know shit like that I'm not here to save the animals or save the homeless you know at the end of the day you can't you know you mm-hmm. know, beat yourself down doing next you know because mm-hmm. there's people across the world that need everything animals and all that shit too so you can't save shit so it's like you know okay so in the sense i know i'm not you know not cold hard because i'm like i don't give a fuck about that shit ain't nothing i can do about it you know what i'm saying and you know you around people oh well this and that and i'm like you trying to make me have emotions about it i can't have no emotions about it you know I don't care. I don't care about no animal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I say, if I care about something, I'm care about my people out like, here getting killed. But I don't give a damn about no goddamn animal getting slaughtered and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I, I'm a vegan. You know, but I didn't. And then too, that I didn't become a vegan to like stay alive or really. At first, it was about a health thing, but then it became like a more of a scientific thing because it's like, well, the body don't need all this food. You know, and did it that so that's where it like started going into, you know what I'm saying? Cause I still eat some chicken and shit. I think a lot of them niggas be lying. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, man. Whatever. All right, all right. You're gonna eat that goddamn chicken. You know, you're gonna eat that goddamn uh that fish or something, you know what I'm saying? Say hate these lies, because I know a lot of them got caught doing that shit. But anyway, yeah, so <laughs> that's that's Let me, let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, what do you care about? What do I care about? Um, like I have, like okay, like I have family, like my mom and brothers and sisters. I care about them. Uh, I have a, I call her my wife, but we can go to court and all that shit. But you know, I care about her. Let me uh, let me be more specific. Uh-huh. Let me be more specific. Not okay. simply what do you care about. What draws emotion out of you? What draws emotion out of me? Mm-hmm. Shit. Um. Uh, let me see. When you like when you say like if, if it makes me mad or or happy any emotion, or, like, anything. Um, I would have to say, damn. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to make up something, but you know, hey, hey, see, and you don't want to force that because um, I I, I ask that because um, you know you. You you consistently can tell me what you what you don't do what you're not here for what ain't what you don't really concern yourself with, um, but it's it's centered around the answer to that question. At, at this point, there there isn't really an answer to that question. Or or just like before, you're trying to ask a question, and it's kind of it's kind of um, the ideas aren't necessarily solid enough to form into a single question. And it's the same thing with this: the idea of what you care about isn't necessarily solid at this point and i think a lot of that is due to um this new influx of information and perspectives that you've come on because before like let's say the 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 phase of your life before your son died um your eyes weren't open to these things you know the the way you lived your life was developed to that point like that's what like that's 30 some odd years right Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's thirty some odd years of, of of this physical life shit, and so by that time, all this new influx of information, that's five years of information, has to be has to be assimilated in a certain way, and and the thing about all this occult stuff, like just like you were talking about with reading uh, the Tree of Life book, uh, <clears throat> you gotta have a context for it in order for in order for you to be able to discern what it means. It's like if you never, you know, if you just started reading and I gave you a biology textbook you don't have enough context to, to figure out what that means. And it's just a biology book. So it's the same difference. It's just that the context isn't there. So I'm going to help you out with the context and give you some of the, um, the, the, the structure behind what they're talking about. Um, okay. I got you. Uh, where we at right now? Let me see. Okay. Smooth, smooth. We got time. Okay. So this is, um, 
this is sort of what I got planned here. Um, I'm, 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 I'm going to lay that out. Then I'm going to ask you another question. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what I'm thinking is what we're going to do is get you a, a smooth primer into into a little bit of a framework. I'm going to explain the framework for the most part today. You know, give you an idea of what self-deification is, what this self stuff is talking about, how this works. Um, okay. Hopefully we can do a little bit of an exercise as well today. Uh, that's, that's also my plan. And um, over the next, uh, what, is it? what is it, 300? So yeah, over the next, over the next four sessions, um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you as much as I can today, um, okay. but I'm gonna make sure I send you with stuff to to mull over so you can it can be it can be doing something with you. Uh, but yeah, over the next couple sessions we're gonna build on the same concepts and the same framework. I'm gonna introduce you to just a little bit of a little bit of, the, of well I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sweep off the doormat for you on on this idea of self deification. So that you're completely set up to start doing it yourself. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Here's the question, though. Um, are you familiar with the the red pill community, y'all, or the manosphere? No. no, I'm not. No, not at all. What about uh, uh Kevin Samuels? Kevin Samuels. Okay. I know, I, you talking about that dude that be um? Uh, yeah, I know you talking about that dude that be uh getting on them girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Samuel. Yeah, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, another aspect of um, corporeal chaos consulting is that uh, I I tailor my information towards males. Um, and there's another service I'm doing that I'm still I'm still fixing, uh, finishing up the details of it. It's called the Timeless Knowledge Tour, um, and it's it's about ma it's about male perspective. You know, uh, some of the, some of what you were talking about a little bit when you when you were um, when you were going about you know the how other dudes would be like oh, oh the the black woman is God hey queen kind of shit. You know, it's, yeah. it's 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 trying to find the foundation in all this you know misinformation and resentment. And having a philosophy about that shit. It's completely male perspective type shit. Like it's not it's it's it's, it's very left hand pathish in terms of of, of of uh of the idea of masculinity. So uh but, okay. but what I will leave you with is um is I'll introduce you to uh have you watched the have you listened to the Black Phillips show? Yeah, cause you uh uh you sent me a YouTube video a long time ago. That's the one with uh, what's it, that comedian on there? Patrice O'Neill. Huh? Patrice O'Neill. Yeah, him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you did you listen to the whole series? I don't. I tell you, too, I don't even remember. I, I'm. I probably gotta go back. I, I I just have to go back and listen to it. I remember listening to it. I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. I, I be at work. I was at work at the time when uh, you had sent it to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, because uh, the the the. the the timeless knowledge tour, like the textbook for the class, is going to be the Black Phillips show. And so I was, okay. gonna, I'm going to suggest to you, you know, at the very least, just check out episode one. If you if you get around to it, if you feel inclined, you know, check out the whole thing because we're going to go through it in a, in a different way because I have my own information for it. But um, like I say, man, it's timeless knowledge. I, I would, I would. I would suggest it more, especially if you haven't even really gotten into the manosphere yet. I think this would be a, a, a interesting place to start for a person like you. Okay, with cool. The black I will do that. All right. Okay, so here's where we're gonna start. Um, okay. This self deification stuff. What exactly we're talking about and uh, what it what it means. Okay. Um, it's a I. In terms of the physical world narrative, um, it's a branch of the left-hand path. Uh, I would say it's the most left branch of the left-hand path. Um, because before you can get into all the deifying and da 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 you have to really get a hold on what self is. And the, the, the thing that people are calling shadow work that's a that's an excellent technique to begin, but if it's just like reading those books, if you don't have the appropriate context, it's, you're not, you're not going to get very far with it. Okay, um, and so that's why I want to get into the, to to starting to describe the self. Okay, um, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to jump into the exercise and then go back and tell you what we did. Boom. Okay. Um, okay. 
if you will imagine you know give me daydream meditate it real quick um the perfect place for you like if you could be there you love there the perfect place okay describe it for me let me get in this car real quick people mm-hmm. in my house ain't talking no, no, go ahead man get comfy okay i'm ready Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, describe the place for me. Okay, um, mine's is a uh, on uh, a beach house on the porch uh, by the ocean. Gotcha. With the uh, with the waves, I love hearing the waves. Uh, and just sit down. Okay, beach house on the porch. Uh, can you see yourself on the porch? Yes, sir. First or third person? Third person. Gotcha. How do you look? I got a white shirt on and some blue and white striped shorts. <laughs> and uh, I'm just sitting back in a rocket chair. Feet propped up. Mm-hmm. Comfortable. Is it, uh, how's, how's the sky look? It's clear, tad bit cloudy. Okay. It's like daytime kind of thing though, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, sure. What else is around the, uh, the house and the beach? Uh, uh, it's a pier to the right. Birds, nine times out of ten, a pelican. Uh, mm-hmm. I see a couple beach chairs. Oh, uh, beach, what you got on them long beach chairs on the beach, and uh, an umbrella on the beach, and I got a coffee table, a small end table right here to the right of me. Is that further? Th- is that further away than the pier, or closest to the house? What's that again? Say that again. The the beach chairs and the umbrella. Is that further away, like on the other side of the pier, or closest to the house? It's closest to the house, like kind of like sitting in front of me, gotcha. but on the beach sand part, like. Right? Okay. Okay. What's up here? What's on the other side? Um, uh, I had a on my right side was a a little end table. Mm-hmm. I smoke weed and drink a little liquor, so that's what's over. That's what's open on that other side. Well, I, I like a table like that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What about um? So I'm guessing the ocean is in front. What's behind it? Behind it is uh, it's a um, just a bunch of grass. Like a like an open field. Right. Like maybe like um, I don't say like a, maybe like something like a forest maybe. Like a bunch of vegetation, I'm gonna say that trees and. So it's like, is it like the the grassy stuff and then the forest, or is it like, what do you what do you mean, what do you think? It's like, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's, uh, it's it's like a it's like a it's like a forest forest like it's like a thing that you can't see through it. Let me say that. Okay, and that's right yeah. up on the on the back of the beach. Yeah, that's on the back of the beach, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, smooth. Ooh. All right. If you could, um, if you could imagine a sad version of Leon, could you put a sad version of Leon somewhere there? Sad version of Leon. So when you say that, you mean like uh, anything sad, like? Yeah, you know, just, just a, 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 a version of Leon. Because Leon, who's sitting on the porch, he's chill, he's relaxed, he's kind of content. You know, he's not really in any particular emotion, you know. But if you had a version of Leon who was sad, you know, how would he look in that scenario? Or where would he be? What would he be doing? Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it makes perfect sense. I'm mm-hmm. just trying. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. I'm trying to think, where, where would I put a sad me at? Cause I'm um. maybe sadness is the wrong emotion. Then how about um how about an angry one? Okay, uh, let me see, an angry one. I, I would have to. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, uh, if I was if I was to be angry, I would. Probably, can I say? I, I'm gonna say this one thing. I do be angry if I'm hungry. So can I say if I'm like I ain't got no like uh 
they want the food in the fridge. I, I don't know. Yeah, is that what you're trying to say? No, 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 there's no, there's no, there's no particular right answer. I, I I'm, I'm interested okay. in seeing what, 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 what would the effect be of that particular space we're talking about if you were to put an angry version of Leon there? Because right now you have a content version there, but you, you don't have to get rid of him. But if you just, if you just inserted him into the scenario, what kind? Where would he be? Where would he be? What would he be doing? Like he could even be in the house. Like you, you were talking about food. Like maybe he's in there mad at the empty fridge or something like that. Right. I, I was just going to say that something that you know I'm mad because uh, I didn't have a certain ingredient to uh, make my food. Mm-hmm. So, what, me, so I, he would be inside ahead. the house. Say that again. I'm sorry. So you say he'd be he'd be inside the house. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Inside the house in the kitchen, probably looking. In, I mean, looking in the fridge. Mad because I, I I need a certain ingredient for for some type of food. I don't have. <laughs> What's he uh? Is he what is he wearing? Is he wearing the same thing as Leon outside? Dang, nah, he wasn't. He was wearing red and black. Boom. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. What's uh? What else is inside the house? I imagine it is a small house, but I'm not right. sure. I'm now now I'm curious. Yeah, uh, so what's inside the house? I got a, uh, what you call them, island countertops? Mm-hmm. With the sink, with a sink, a faucet sink in the, in the middle of, with the, with the faucet on the inside. I'm say that. I, I don't have a, uh, like a, you know, like a regular sink that goes against the wall or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's not one of those, it's that, uh, a small refrigerator, not the tall one. Mm-hmm. But like, maybe like a, like the apartment kind, when you're gonna move an apartment to get the, like, um, shorter versions of the refrigerator. Yeah, the little mini fridge. Right, yeah. Uh, it's a, a, a kitchen, a small full chair kitchen table. It's just one chair. Four, uh, four chairs. I'm sorry, four chairs. Okay. You and said the folding uh, chairs. A backslide door, huh? You said it's four folding chairs. I'm sorry, four. I don't. I, I probably did, but I meant to say no. four chairs. Or you it's, know, around the uh, the table. Yeah, are they folding chairs? Oh no no no! They just are just uh, regular wood chairs. Okay okay. Yeah, wood wood chairs. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Hmm. No, it's not that there's a correct or right answer. I'm just trying to make sure I'm hearing correctly. Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah yeah yeah. And, and test. You know, I'm just I'm just curious to see what's there. Right. Right. That's four chairs. You said there's a sliding glass door in the back. Yeah, the patio the, uh, that leads to the uh, the uh, vegetation gotcha. forest behind it. This is like so you can see you can see the vegetation through the glass. Right, I can see the vegetation through the glass, uh, standing at the refrigerator. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Is there a bed or anything like that in there? Yeah, I was just gonna say that it's a bed and a TV, so it may look like like one studio, like just like an open, uh, nice size area. Okay. There's a bed and the TV. How the bed look? It's a uh, king size. Mm-hmm. Look like it's a uh, I don't want to know western. It's all black with a gray and white western western. Uh, what you call it? Like a rug? I don't know. Like look like an Indian Navajo type of drape that goes at the uh, bottom of the, that's folded at the bottom of the bed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. White sheets. Yeah, white sheets. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> right, sure. I, think, I think we're making our way around the room here. Because cause I, I got the kitchen, I got the table with the four chairs, and the bed with near the TV. There's the sliding glass door in the back. What about front door? Is there a front door? The front door is... is, is, is on the opposite side of the uh, the glass door where the refrigerator is. Okay. Uh, it leading to the porch. Gotcha. You got a porch on both sides, boy. Living good. <laughs> Living good. <laughs> All right, now. All right. Okay. Smooth. Uh, <clears throat> if you could. Uh, just like we did uh, the angry version of Leon, you know, anywhere in the whole environment, 
If you could imagine a child version of Leon, how would that work? That would, uh, ooh. me sitting there playing, playing, building a bunch of Legos. Inside the house? Inside the house, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That would be, that'll, that would be, okay, so where the bed is, uh, it's just like a small, like a like a little, little, little uh, living room, living area. Mm-hmm. And that's where I would have all that stuff sitting right there, building something big, like one of them, I don't know, some big Star Wars or something. Okay. <laughs> building Legos. Yeah. The thing that he's building is he, how how uh, how complete is it? It's not quite complete. So it's like almost it's, like a, it's almost complete. Okay. It's the uh, the million the Millennium Falcon. Okay, okay, I feel you. How old is he? He's nine. Smooth. All right. You said now. I want to do one more. Okay. Um. It's not too easy. That's too easy. Um. I'm gonna set myself up. Uh, okay, in this whole area, in this whole scenario, if you could imagine a place that you don't want to be, how would it look? Where would it come about? Like, how does that? How would that work? Does that make sense? Yeah. So my a place that I would not like to be is uh, somewhere crowded with a bunch of people. Uh, let me let me specify that because I can go like to if you store if you were file. to connect it to the place that we're already dealing with, like like if you could see it from there, kind of thing. Oh, you saying from the beach? Yeah. In oh, that scenario. okay. Okay, mm-hmm. so put myself in the place where I, where I wouldn't want to be at yeah. if I was on the beach, or or in that whole little round. In the hell? Okay, I got you. I got you. Let me see. Uh. anything I wouldn't want to be uh I wouldn't want to be caught in the storm out there in the water deep out in the water Mm -hmm. or like fishing or just navigating somewhere there we go that's what I figured it'd be that's how the water usually works okay hold on let me get this here okay all right so with that exercise, um, just to give you, uh, make it real simple. Um, sure. The place you were just dealing in, um, the things that were there, the the manner in which you were using to deal with it, all of that was non-physical. There was no atoms, cells, planets. There was no need for any of the stuff that, that you have to do in physical life as Leon. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. All that was non-physical, okay? Um, okay. Now, to, just so it's, so it's really easy to make the distinction between physical things and non-physical things, okay? Um, because mostly with physical things, you're talking about the appearance of the thing, all right? Like if you say, uh, that's a table. Well, is it a table or is it uh, tree cells? Is it tree cells or is it carbon? Is it carbon or is it quarks? Is it quarks or is it a piece of the planet Earth? Is it a piece of the planet Earth or a piece of the, the solar system? So all, all those things are physical things. None of them are their own thing. Mostly we, we identify them based on how they appear to us. Well, not even so much how they appear to us, but what the function is for us. Because like you could look at a tree stump and think that's something to sit on. When really there's nothing about it intrinsically that means that's something to sit on. Because we look at things, we interact with things based on, how, on their function. All right, so so you so this is to help make a distinction between things that are physical and things that are non-physical. Okay, so you can already you already have a touch of what of what it means to touch things that are non-physical. So when they say when people are saying go within, 
non-physical is what they're talking about it's not do something to your cells and your melanin it's not you know do this particular yoga stretch and mantra and hum like this on a, on a full moon or some shit like that it's not it's all that stuff is in the physical realm okay um we're gonna add one more to this world we're gonna add one more to this little world okay um if you couldn't imagine a version of leon that the your ideal version of leon the 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 highest and the best version of leon in that space how's he look where's he at what's 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 going on with him oh um you know hey hey, hey, throw whatever throw whatever you want in there man yeah I, i see myself like uh like Building, building, or creating something, or something like a shit. It could be in that beach house. Where is he at? Where, where, where are you? Where are you feeling it? Yeah, where am I feeling it? Where are you feeling it? Where are you seeing it? Whichever sense you know works best for you. Just different angles, really. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I'm, maybe I, maybe I, I'm, let me think, okay. All right. Let me Relax think. with it. Relax with it, man. Imagine an ideal version of Leon. Like, man, this, the highest of the high, the best, the, the, the best you can imagine Leon being. And put him in that, put him in that scenario, in that world, in that space. Where does he naturally fit there? Or does he naturally fit somewhere else? You know, you know, whatever feels natural. That's what I'm curious about. So you saying whatever feels natural? Right? Yeah, whatever feels the most appropriate. Yeah, when you when you imagine that ideal version of Leon, maybe start with you know what he's doing, why he's doing it, you know the kind of uh, attitude he has, maybe where he's at, you know. Hmm. Oh man, let me think back. Oh man, how's it going? Yeah. Take your time, though. Take your time, also, because I'm not. I'm not rushing you. you know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's your, let it unfold. Because I tell you what, it's not so much that you got to create it. You got to uncover it. It's right there. Because you can already see bits and pieces and feel it. That's why you're going like, oh, wow, ah, ooh, ooh. Because you can feel a piece <laughs> of it. I'm telling you, it's right there. So take your time, bro. I ain't, I ain't rushing you at all. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna have to say. I guess I'm gonna have to say me. Uh. Let it out, man. Whatever it is, go ahead. I think, and you know, my problem, I be overthinking too much. Too. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, relax with it, man. Let it flow. Cause ain't no right answer. Yeah. In fact, me, look, I, I'm you, say me. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, you can think about it like this. Any answer you can give me is wrong. Okay. Right? <laughs> like, look. Either way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just, just yeah. yeah just let it saying. flow. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna say me. I be on the beach. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say my ideal self with me uh, being in shape. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, mus- m- strong, muscular. You know, uh, training or what, what not. Hmm. So training, he's like, he's like training a, on the beach. He's training. Y- yes, sir. I- I'm gonna say that training. Yeah, okay. out there on the beach. What kind of training? Uh, martial arts, weapons, weapons, martial arts. Ooh. Uh, Does he have some weapons? You know, say it again. Does he have some weapons? Oh yeah, nunchucks. Ooh. Uh, samurai sword and a wing chun dummy. Wing chun dummy. That's the that's the wooden dummy with the pegs in it, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Nunchucks. Got the, the nunchucks. The, you said the nunchucks, the sword, and the the uh-huh. wing chun. Okay. The wing chun dummy. Wing chun dummy. How how's he dressed? I'm dressed up just a uh, uh, no shirt and black cotton fluffy pants like yep. Jesse Hammer. Somewhat. Yep. <laughs> gotcha. Know exactly what you mean. If um, how how, how does he? If you had to 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 I guess maybe have something on him that showed his his pinnacle or or in spiritual progress maybe. What what about him says that at all or or is that part of him? I'm gonna say what it say. I'm gonna say um. 
I'm gonna say certain tattoo markings as far as like uh mm-hmm. a ranking or a level completion. Gotcha. Gotcha. How how do the tattoo markings look? Like where's it at? What's the what's the what's the uh, thing? I'm gonna say they're um, in a row going like I'm gonna say like some type of some type of uh, sigil or marking going in a uh, down my right chest. Okay. In row in rows. Hmm. 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 Okay. I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that. Like uh like how them uh like how the Asian folks letters are and stuff, right? Exactly. I got you. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And where on the beach is he? He's he's on this big old rock slab, like uh, some natural flat rock slab. No, like if like in terms of where the pier is, like where's where's that rock slab? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Oh, Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, he's he's by the pier. Matter of fact, I take that back. Up under the pier. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh, so it's one of them up high piers. Like, okay, like right. a pier yes, pier. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. Them high, them high as piers. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's interesting. All right, now. Hmm. I'll do it like this. Okay. He's got the dummy. He's got the nunchucks and the sword. Okay, smooth. And the tattoo markings. Smooth, smooth. Okay. Um, this is, uh, this is how I want to do this for you. Okay. Like I'm saying, okay. the things, this, this exercise, the things we're dealing with right now, this is non-physical stuff. This is, this is, this is actually a little bit further than any astral travel anyone's doing. All right. But, okay. but mind you, this is, it's still very basic. This is still very, very, um, human psyche level, but just so that you can okay. see how close non-physical is and how you because okay. I, I want to make sure you're looking in the right direction because most people's issue is that when they try and do this stuff they're looking in the direction of the physical world and the physical life okay um, okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna break down the um, the structure of how self is okay self is threefold when people say all is mind that's not the brain the brain is a piece of meat mind right. is the threefold pattern the Trinity okay? That's what okay. it means to be made in the image of the Most High. The Most High is threefold. And so everything that's in the image of that is threefold. And so the self in being threefold is the body, the spirit, and the soul. Okay? The body is a piece of the physical world, and it's the vessel for navigating the physical world. The spirit is a piece of the non-physical world, and is the vessel for navigating the non-physical world. And the soul is a piece of the... Um, the primordial realm or the metaverse, the clip off realm. And that's the vessel for navigating that. Okay? okay. So right now when we're doing this exercise, even the Leons you're seeing in there, none of those are the body. Right. Because like you said, you know you're not the body, okay? Right. But the thing we're gonna we we're, the, the first hurdle we're gonna hit here. Uh, we're not hitting it yet. We're, we're going to come up to it, though. The first hurdle is that we're in this fi- this place that's not physical, and yet the versions of you are all based on the context of your body. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. That may okay. Cool. So okay. So first, so, so right now, the things you're dealing with are the realm of of spirit. Okay. Um, okay. Your spirit, just like your body, is not one thing. Your body has the appearance of one thing. There are multiple organs, multiple cell layers. Like, look, you can just go down from the organs and the tissues and stuff. That's, that's all a bunch of different things. You can get down into the cells. It's a, a multitude of things. Okay, so what your spirit is, is not a singular thing. Okay? It's, it's not only is it all these Leons, it's the items there too. It's the whole place. Like, just like when you're talking about the physical body and the science behind that. Uh, there's not really a, a place where the physical body isn't connected to the entire planet. Okay. Okay. So any of these different non-physical in- entities you're dealing with here, they're not separate from the environment around them. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Um, now the the threefold part here, 
it's it's not a matter of uh, a position or some place that you are. It's a matter of density. Okay, it's a matter of because uh, remember, uh, left hand path. The self is the thing that's everything. All right, right hand path is what the self is is a piece of some grand larger thing. Left hand path, the self is the larger thing. Okay. Okay, I got you. So the idea of Leon. Is 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 it's not even the self. It's it's uh like you play video games. Yeah, I play video games. Uh, well, uh, what kind of video games you play? Uh, like I play like God of War. Uh, I play fight games, of course, like uh, Street Fighter, Tekken. Mm-hmm. I mostly either play one of those Mortal Kombat or like God of War, uh, Bloodborne. Uh, you know, some type of monster game or some type of you know. God of War work. Game type. Yeah, God of War work. Okay, that's, uh, that's Kratos, right? Yeah, Kratos, right. Okay. All right. Um, Kratos in the game. In the game, because from the Kratos' perspective, in the game, he don't see Leon. He don't know no Leon, but Leon controlling the whole thing. Well, most right. of the whole thing. Right? Right. Okay. Right now, your physical life Leon is a Kratos. This whole idea of Leon is Kratos. And you play in the game, but you think you Kratos. This whole idea of Leon is you thinking you Kratos. And it's not to say you not, because within the game, you most certainly Kratos. Right. Okay? But outside of that, because you you're the whole apparatus here. You're not you 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 you're the person in the game and you're the motherfucker playing the game. Okay? Because, because, uh-huh. because, look! If you took it from Kratos' perspective and look up at Leon, that's a whole other world. And matter of right. fact, okay. there's a whole other world beyond Leon. And Kratos could barely right. even imagine from that perspective. And so that you just have to shift it back. Is 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 what what Kratos is in that game? Leon is in this world. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> okay, and so in order. The idea of 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 soul, okay. This is going to be like when you say "I." That's the, that 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 that's pointing. That's that's as much as I can get you to point towards the idea, okay. But um, think about it like this way: in that whole scenario where you're looking at the different Leons, okay. Mm-hmm. The thing that's doing the looking at the Leons is the eye, which is the soul. Yes. Okay, I got you. Okay, but now at this point, you, it's only it's only at the level of a seed. Like right now, us even having this conversation is just is just mixing up the soil for the dirt for this thing to bloom. Because the only conception right. you have of self at the moment is either Leon or Oh, I'm everything, which ain't gonna work right. because because the roach is everything. So it's not really that's not really grabbing a hold of the soul. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> so, to, in order to really grab a hold of that, uh, what you want to do is build some context around that idea or the character, okay? And okay. but but that's less that's further down the line. But just so you can kind of have an idea of the different levels of it, because the thing is, you're the whole damn thing. You're always doing it. There's never there's never a way you're not doing it. All right, so people who like who, who have their chest out, oh, I do this twenty four seven, nigga, do, 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 do. Like, shut up, nigga. You just telling me you don't do it twenty four seven? Because if you have to tell me that, that means you don't realize you're always the thing. Right. Even the idea that there's 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 uh, a, a flow of time like we're experiencing here is it's it's like Kratos imagining a flow of time. Oop, oh, fucked up my my save game. Let me reload. Kratos don't know nothing. <laughs> Why? Because his experience is linear within that realm. Not because right. there's no other way to experience time. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah, it does. Okay, so the the what you're talking about here is different densities. Even in the place we're sitting here in the non-physical realm, there's time. Because you can sit there and see uh, uh, little little Leon playing with Legos. He's moving through a, a, some form of time. See, the relationship with time there isn't the same as it is in the physical realm because it's more dense. Okay, I see. You see? Yeah. And once you get into, and that's going to help you. Even once you see that little difference, it'll help you triangulate all the way back to the eye, that soul, and see how that moves. Because that's beyond time and beyond space. 
It's like it's it's basically like in a non-physical realm, it's time space. In the physical realm, it's space time. Okay. Okay, but once you get to the primordial, or rather, you're always there. It, it's there's no time. Right. And no space. If there's no time, there's no space. Um. Like uh, here's 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 one way you can visualize it that I think is a very intuitive way to do it. Um, an X, Y, and Z axis, right? Can you imagine an X, Y, and Z axis? Yeah, yeah, I got that. Okay, cool. That's the Trinity right there. The empty space around that axis, that's your primordial realm. Okay? Okay. Now put a, uh, a sphere. No, 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 a cube. Put a cube there right in the middle. Okay. That's your non-physical realm. Now, there's no point within that cube where you're not also within that empty space, right? Right. All right, cool. Now, put a, a nest a sphere within the cube. Like, put them, like, intersect them. Do you know what that means? To nest it? Nah, what that mean? <laughs> like, um, like, uh, if you, if you just kind of put, push them into each other to where they're the same shape, but they, like, uh, it, it's called nesting. Like, not put the sphere inside the cube, but like, Put them together. Put them together to where, like the uh, the square is somewhat sticking out. And the yes, is sticking exactly. Out. Okay, I got you. All right, now that that um that circle, that's your um that's your physical realm. So now you have okay. points within the sphere that are also within the cube, right? Okay, yeah. And you never leave the empty space. Okay. I it's a matter of density. And how and what you're looking at, because right now you, you're not going to get rid of the physical world. It's the lowest. It's a part of the whole thing. But even now we can sit here and we and, and we can navigate your non-physical or a piece of your non-physical realm without having to, to. Oh, I destroyed the physical world and all that other bullshit people talk about. <laughs> it, 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 it's right there. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. OK, cool. Um. And what is that right here? Okay, so this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna do before I give you a little bit of homework, okay? Um, okay, cool. Just to, to, to bring this all the way back around, this idea of what people call shadow work. Um, what that is, is, is basically within this little non-physical world, because what you're trying to get to is, is to be able to begin describing that world of I and rebuild that. Okay, but you can't get to that until you start to work out some of this stuff. You know, it, right. it, 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 you have to learn to navigate this. Otherwise, none of that stuff's gonna make sense. Like if you if you were just if you were a baby and I was telling you this shit right now, none of this shit would make sense. Right. Right. Okay. You had to learn how to navigate this world, and then you could figure that out in context. Right. And so once you start to get in here and navigate uh, this non-physical realm, I'm gonna give you some homework for that. Um, you're gonna get you're gonna get into it. This is the go within. Okay? okay, this is the within, because any of the other shit that's not within, that's not in your cells, that's your body. All that stuff people are talking about is within your body. All right, right? this is within your mind, not your brain, not the piece of meat. Within your idea of you, this is the this is the outer crust of the thing that's wrapped around that idea of I. All right, this is this is this is what you actually are. See, right now, you know, we're having this conversation. This is like this is Kratos level shit. It appears that we're in the physical realm. Yeah. Okay. In actuality, we're in the non-physical playing this game. Gotcha. All right. Um, and even once again, like I said, the analogy goes backwards because from the primordial realm, even the the non-physical is somewhat of a game. I mean, it, it that's it that's a that's very that's uh that's not very specific, almost to the point of being accurate inaccurate. But I wanted to keep the analogy going, um, just so you can kind of intuit the idea. Um, but yeah, it, it's the whole the, all this stuff is right there. All right, it's just the what you call the light is your awareness, what you're what you're consciously perceiving, where you're pointing that at, right? All right. These things, like like all this stuff we were just talking about in this exercise, all that stuff was there. It's just that you weren't looking at it. You know, there's plenty of other stuff there. Like I'm, I'm, I'm itching to get into them fucking weeds. I tell you what, <laughs> there's plenty of stuff there. And so the only only thing that's keeping you from 
experiencing it is you're not paying attention to it. And, mo and what's uh, keeping you from, pa paying from paying attention to it is how you're perceiving yourself, how you frame and define your reality. I, when Generally, when you say I, before we've had this conversation, it always meant Leon. Right. And it was always some vague mix of the body and da 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 like now you can have a little bit of distinction and build from here. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, this is this is a and and it's the only thing like I'm saying this is this is the basic stuff. Like cuz yeah. all you're all you're really doing at this point is turning around. You know, we haven't even oh. got to take in much steps. Right now you're just kind of turning around. It's not you're not facing right. the wrong direction anymore. Right. Like, see, this isn't gonna mean that that you don't have to play Kratos, because you, because some some folks will think, oh, well, now that I do this, Kratos ain't gonna lose no health. No, don't you can't play that game and like and not lose health. Like that's like right. You got to be on some ridiculous shit. All right, <laughs> like <laughs> like niggas right. sit there and try over and over and over and over to do that shit. Like it's ridiculous. So, so 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 thinking about it like Leon ain't gonna get out here and catch these L's. You know, you're mistaken. Leon gonna catch these L's. Matter of fact, Leon is here to catch L's. Right. The only part of you and all this stuff that actually catches L's is this physical body, Leon. Is this game is Kratos level shit. But see, if you yeah. if it, it, if you're doing like what most people do, which is try and avoid the L's, you can't run towards the win. See, and these motherfuckers out here, they playing yeah. not to lose. You don't want to play not to lose. You want to play to win. Yeah, I'm gonna catch that L. Watch me do it. 